Okay, today's video is a very simple concept. Is that because I forgot to plan something for today and now I need to come up with something very makeshift and very quick? Absolutely not, I'm a professional. Also, yes. Today, I am gonna let a random number generator pick any one of these books off this shelf and we're gonna read it. The only thing I haven't thought through is I'm gonna have to count how many books I have on these shelves. Oh God, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, sixty. 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. If I do all this and it comes up and it's like book number three, I'm gonna be annoyed. 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Okay, that's 100. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 190 exactly. That's too many books, isn't it? For context, I have read some of these, so if it lands on a number that we've already read, I don't know, I guess we'll roll again. Let's pull out the random number generator. I'm actually terrified here, because I have no say in whatever it lands on, I have to read. And can we all just say a little prayer that it doesn't land on a romance book? Because I am in the biggest romance slump of my entire life. I do not want a romance book. Other than that, I'm not that bothered. Okay, ready? Can you see that? One hundred sixty-four. That means I have to count all the way to one hundred sixty. Can I count? I can count backwards. I can definitely do that. Okay. Oh gosh, I'm scared. I feel like it's going to end up somewhere in this region, which they're darker books. Which I mean, I'm thinking that might mean it's a thriller. I don't know. That's just okay. What do we say? One hundred sixty-four. Ninety. Eighty-nine. Eighty-eight. Eighty-seven. Eighty-six. Eighty-one. 80. Why am I so bad at counting backwards? 71, 70, 69, 68, 67, 66, 65, 64, 63, 60. Oh no, I forgot. I went past it and I don't know what it was. 90, 89, 88, 80. 68, 67, 66, 65, 64. I've already read it. <laughs> I've already read it. That means we need to re-roll. Right, we'll try that again. Is that focused? Ready? 53. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 39, 40. I've forgotten what the number was. 53. 40. 41, 42, 50, 51, 52, 53. I've already read it. Okay, it's fine. I'm gonna go again. Okay. 173. 90. 89, 88, 79, 78, 77, 76, 75, 74, 73. Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine. That's, that, that's not a bad pick actually. I'm not mad about that. Okay, I'm actually quite happy with this choice. So this looks like a literary fiction, so not mad about that at all. Actually, I, when I hauled this, I got it from a charity shop. I had never heard of it and I thought it was like, I was like, oh, I've discovered like a hidden gem that no one's heard of. It has like a million Goodreads reviews, like literally a million. It's very popular. <laughs> um, so clearly I've just not, I've been under a rock or something. It says, Eleanor Oliphant leads a simple life. She wears the same clothes to work every day. She eats the same meal for lunch every day. She buys the same two bottles of vodka to drink every weekend. Eleanor Oliphant is happy. Nothing is missing from her carefully timetabled existence, except sometimes everything. That actually sounds so up my alley. And just think the random number generator was trying to get us to reread A Little Life. I don't have the mental capacity to be doing that. I would like to read A Little Life one day, but today is not that day. I'm not mad about this. So that is what this video is gonna be. We're gonna be doing a reading vlog of this book and come along and you can hear, you can hear my thoughts. Hopefully I like it. I'm packing my things to prepare for the summer to the back house of my landlord's mother He came on the first night to see what you're missing We've got ourselves an unlikable main character! And hung out with my roommate Told jokes in the kitchen and crashed Okay, I am on page 135 So I've read, what, a third? Maybe a bit over? I'm loving it 
I'm, I'm literally loving it. I, I feel like the blurb, the blurb kind of says like, she's doing the same thing every day. And so I kind of got the vibe that it was gonna be like her trying to get out of this like mundaneity. Is that a word? Don't know. Um, but you know what I mean, like mundane-ness. That's not a word. To be fair, I already loved that. That's very much like the kind of thing that's up my alley. And it is that, but it's also so much more. Like the blurb gives you nothing. And I almost love that. And I almost don't want to tell you too much more. I'll tell you like little bits, but I would honestly try and go in as blind as possible because I'm loving it. From the off, from like the very off, you're like, oh, unlikable main character. So I was obviously immediately hooked. I love an unlikable main character. But already, I mean, we're only like a third into the book. We're seeing that actually, it's not that she's like, an unlikable person she just she struggles in social situations she has so much going on at home already i am literally rooting for her so hard she's such a like complicated character but i feel like the author has written her with such i don't know like love and and like truth the writing almost reminds me a little bit of flora banks if flora banks was not a ya book I don't know why, like maybe it's just because both the characters have like a hard time navigating the worlds they're in and both of them are also like seeking out a man. In this one, she's kind of like fallen in love or like kind of become obsessed anyway with like a singer in a band. And so like that's a really interesting storyline. And then in this one as well, we have her mother who's in prison and Eleanor Oliphant, the main character, has like scars on her face and it sounds like the two are connected but we don't know how. It's just fascinating. It's a fascinating character study but there's also so much plot wise going on and I, I literally can't believe that I've never heard of this book because there are so many ratings on Goodreads so it must be really popular. I wonder if it was just like really popular a few years ago before I'd got back into reading or something um, because I haven't heard anybody review it but so far anyway literally could not recommend it more. Obviously it's still a long way to go but I'm literally having the best time with this book. I have actually not spoken to you in a few days but I wanted to give a little update on the book because I'm up to page 244. Do I ever stop mid-chapter? Two thirds through I've probably got like 100, I don't want to get spoilers but maybe a bit over 100 pages, maybe like 150 pages left. I am still very much enjoying this book. I love Raymond. He is such a like comfort character. Also I love Eleanor which is like at the start of the book, she is a bit jarring, but I think that was kind of the point, is that that is how a lot of people in her life see her, or at least when you don't know her very well, that's maybe the impression she gives off at the start. The more you get to know her, the more you realise that actually she has a really good heart and that you just have to, like, spend some time. And I, I feel bad for, like, judging her at the start, because I literally said in, like, the first ten pages, I was like, unlikable main character, and the character arc... I really like her now. <laughs> Every single character in this book is actually so well developed. Even the mum who is like, she's not nice at all, but she has depth. She's not like a like cartoon villain, if that makes sense. She's not just bad. And I feel like all the characters are a bit like that. Like they all are so like complexly written. And this is such a lovely mix of character driven and like plot. Like it's such, like I love a character study book, don't get me wrong. But a character study book with a strong plot, yeah, I'm so here for that. I feel like, you know when people talk about reading makes you a more empathetic person, I feel like these are the kind of books they're talking about. You kind of have to stick with Eleanor and give her a chance to realise that A, she has so much going on in her life and she does have a lot of like difficulties because of that but she has such a good heart and I've literally just like over the last 100 pages or so like really fallen in love with her and I just I want to protect her and Raymond I just they're both so wholesome anyway my plan is to hopefully finish this today I finished oh my gosh the character arc fabulous there was a plot twist like this book had everything the plot twist was great, I never saw that coming. I can't believe it took me so long to read this book, I loved it. I don't know why I'm acting surprised. I feel like I do this every time I enjoy a book. I'm like, oh my gosh, I really liked it. And I'm like, you do actually read for enjoyment. I don't know why I always look so surprised when I enjoyed a book. I really, really liked this.
like and I'm angry I am angry because I've just googled to see what else Gail Honeyman has written nothing as it turns out but there is something coming out December 2025 I've just googled it December 18th 2025 I have to wait a year and a half for another book this was amazing also this was published like a fair while ago right in 2017 but still like I guess she's really working on whatever's next this was fabulous like the characters were so deep so complex every single character in this was so well thought out and you just feel like you get like a piece of their lives and they felt so real and i i ended up loving our main character guys the random number generator picked really really well i literally i adored this book right let's pop her back and that is another one off the physical TBR. I'm definitely gonna do this again. I would love to do this as maybe like a once a month, like an extra bonus video. Maybe, I don't know if I'm gonna commit to that, but I would love to do this like more. Cause it's just like easy, like pick a book at random and we just read it together and have like a fun, chill time. Well, I don't know if you had fun. I hope you had fun, uh, but I had fun. And that's what really matters. Jikes, jikes, I want us all to have fun. But sadly, that's us done for today's video. So thank you very much for hanging out with me. If you would like to stick around, I'd love to have you. There are some very exciting videos coming up. So subscribe if you want to see them, I'd love to have you. Like the video, drop us a comment, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Love you lots, bye.